it's possible, it's doable. So long as you have a vision and you can dream, write it down. Allow God to be first in everything and keep going. Don't fear anything, be authentic, be persistent and be excellent in whatever you do. Uh, my name is Ruth Gashero. Uh, I'm the executive director and the CEO of Baraka Smiles Dental Clinic, home of Healthy Smiles. I'm also the founder of Baraka Smiles Foundation, where we change smiles. Uh, apart from that, I'm born again. I love the Lord as Christ and my Savior. I'm also married. I'm a mother of two beautiful children. And uh, I'm an excellent woman doing ministry in the marketplace. Okay, so how do you balance your passion for providing quality dental care with your commitment to giving back to the community? Baraka Smiles is a Christian-based organization. And as the word suggests, we are a blessing and also those who come to us are a blessing to us. Uh, but we are very passionate uh, in giving back to the community. Let me say that uh, where my passion started is because for me, I don't just practice dentistry, but I also, it's a passion to me. And uh, we are also very passionate. Uh, I remember when I was uh, a young girl, my teeth were very bad and someone changed my smile. And because of that, we grew the passion in changing smells and that's where we started our foundation. So we do a lot in giving back to the community in changing smiles and also treating. So many people come and uh, when we are able, we change their smiles, but we are also big in business. Mm -hmm. So what challenges have you faced in combining your dental practice with the community service? The biggest challenge that we find is that uh, so many people, so many people call unto us so that we can change their smiles. Dentistry is very expensive, so it's not easy to change people's smile. But by the help of God, we've been able to change a uh, mini smile. And that's why recently we launched a campaign that we are calling A Million Healthy Smiles. So we are saying with a thousand bob, uh, from partners and all that, we can be able to change a million healthy smiles because we've realized the need is so huge. And sometimes because dentistry is expensive, we have financial constraint to change many smiles. But we are working towards a journey where we can be able to change as many people as possible. So we are in a journey and a campaign that we are calling out partners, governments, institutions, corporates, so that we can be able to go to the communities, villages and grassroots to uh, make uh, changes uh, and change many lives and many smiles as possible. So our vision is to change one million healthy smiles. Yeah, so what advice would you give to young women who are interested in pursuing a career in dentistry mm -hmm. and making positive impact in their community? The advice I have to young women, not only in dentistry but other careers, it's possible, it's doable. So long as you have a vision and you can dream, write it down. Allow God to be first in everything and keep going. Uh, don't fear anything, be authentic. I think most of the people don't make it because you're copying here and there. Hear God in whatever is leading you. Be authentic, be persistent, and be excellent in whatever you do. And there is nothing that is impossible. I can tell you for sure. So long as God is in everything, because that, so long as you put God first in everything, you can make it. God will lead you, he will make a way for you, he will bring help us. Just write your vision down and a herald will run with it. <laughs>